CSS media queries. What on earth are they and how can we use them? In this video, I'm going to be answering both of those questions by using this basic web page. So as you can see, as we increase the width of the page, at certain points, the style of the page changes and that's all done on the fly using media queries. Before we start, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification down below so you're notified as soon as new content goes up. And of course, if you found the video useful, do make sure you hit that like button as well. Okay, so CSS media queries, let's get into it. Okay, so very quickly, what are media queries? Media queries allow us to control how our website looks across multiple devices. So you may have heard the term responsive design. Well, media queries are a major part of responsive design because they're all about ensuring our website looks great no matter what device it's being viewed on. Okay, so let's take a look at our files. The most important thing for this tutorial is that in your HTML file, you need to make sure you've got this meta viewport tag. The viewport tag, as we can see from this example here on W3Schools, is very important because this is how your website will look on a mobile phone if it doesn't include the viewport meta tag. As you can see, there's loads of white space and that looks awful. This is how it looks with the viewport meta tag. So this is it over here. So it's just meta name equals viewport, content equals width equals device hyphen width, initial scale equals one. That's quite a mouthful. So don't worry about memorizing it. You can either pause the video and copy it from here. And I'll also leave it in the description box below. Okay, let's head on over to a style.css file. And let's remove these media queries right here. And let's begin. So to write a media query, we simply do at media. And now the first thing we can do is specify a media type. So there are three basic types we can choose speech which is used for screen readers print and screen so for example if i typed in print here and then curly braces and now any styles that we specify here will be applied to the printed version so for example we could say give the body a background color of white and make the text color black and now if we do command p i'm on a mac a lot of the preview for the printed version and you see it has a white background with a black text now we can also say at media screen and now we can specify a specific width. So we can do and, and then in brackets, I'm going to say min width. Let's go for 320 pixels. Now what this means is when you detect a screen size that has a minimum width of 320 pixels, so in other words, 320 pixels and anything higher than that, then execute the following code. So in here, let's just target this title up here. So, and let's first bring this down. It's currently 448. So let's bring this down to just before 320, something like that. And here, targeting the H1, we're going to do text line center, font size 25 pixels, and we're going to give it a underline as well. So let's just see this as we increase this and go to 320 pixels. This styling has applied to the H1 because it's at a minimum of 320 pixels. Okay, let's also style the paragraph tags. And there you can see the changes have taken effect there. And finally, let's just style this image as well. We're going to bump this up to 300 pixels. Okay, so let's just show you this then. So let's go less than 320 pixels. Turn this on up here actually so you can see it better. There we go. So at 320, our styles kick in. Okay, let's now do another media query at 500 pixels this time. So when the screen goes up to 500 pixels, just close all these. So I'll we'll change this to 500 braces and when it gets to 500 pixels let's do the following so we've changed the color of the title we've given the paragraph tag some more styling for readability and we've given the image a border of two pixels solid white so let's go up to 500 pixels then and see this take effect and there it is right there excellent so we've got our lime colored title and now we've got a border around our image let's go for another one Let's now target 600 pixels. This time we're going to change the title to orange red, more paragraph stylings, and we're going to change the border into a circle by giving it a border radius of 50%. So let's pop this up then. We're looking for 600, it's currently on 510. And we'll go up, and when we hit 600 pixels, boom, right there, our styling kicks in. So the border is now a circle, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And the title has changed color. Let's go for one more. So this time we're going to target 700 pixels, do a curly braces and this time let's go for something a bit more obvious this time on the image we're going to give it a background color of white and we're going to give it a border of five pixels dashed orange red so let's pop this up and see those changes That's 700 pixels right there okay so you get the idea then as you start bumping up your screen size you want to use media screen and min width and then specify a width to ensure your website looks great as the screen size increases. Okay, so we've worked with min width. You might be thinking, what's max width? Well, max width sets the style for anything less than an equal to the width you specify. So for example, if we said 
at media screen and max width 319 pixels what this will do is it will specify the styling for a screen size of 319 pixels and less so here let's just do a change by doing paragraph color red and now if we go up to 319 pixels and less sure enough you see Atex now has a red color now you can also target the orientation of the screen so down here let's say at media and then in brackets you can say orientation and it's currently in portrait so let's change this to landscape and when the screen is in landscape mode we want to change the background color to a gradient so let's just drop that in okay and now if we switch to landscape you'll see that cool gradient background kicking in there and again that's all been styled with media queries Okay guys, so I hope you found that useful. Key takeaways from the lesson are, if you want to set the styles for anything more than an equal to your width, you use min width, so min width 320 pixels, is targeting anything that has a screen size of 320 pixels or more. And if you want to go in the opposite direction, less than an equal to your pixel size, then you go for max width. So this max width of 390 pixels will target anything of a screen size of 319 pixels and less. So again guys, I hope you found that useful. Be sure to like and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.